Hi guys. This is a tutorial in the series on geometry nodes. Create a moving object with self-generated legs. It looks a bit like a spider and I'll call it a spider for the time being. All done in geometry nodes. First I create a curve. This is the object used in instance, it will also be the legs of the spider. The curve was rotated to lie along the z-axis, retouched it a bit and added a vertex to the curve, now it has three vertices. Turn off the curve for now, I'll go to the geometry nodes of the cube to get started. The first is a grid for the background. I use distribute points on faces to control the density of vertices. Now replace these vertices with the curve I created earlier using instance on points. Reduce the size of the legs. I create an ICO sphere, this will be the body of the spider. Reduce its size. Now I want the legs to only appear around the spider, so geometry proximity will be the choice. To control the distance at which the legs appear I need map range. The legs appear at the origin because I haven't switched to relative. I gathered these nodes in one frame and named it instance. You should also group the nodes for ease of control as this is a rather lengthy tutorial. Finished part 1. Let's go to part 2. The goal of this part is to connect the legs to the body. If you can't understand the operations in this part then see in the description of this video, I have a link of the video about the index note that will explain you better about it. I use set position to set the position of the legs, but not the position of the whole leg but just the position of a vertex of the leg. For that reason I have to use realize instances. I use index to get the vertices of the leg. Math node to determine the exact vertex to get. You can see that each leg has three vertices. So if I divide index by three and look at the remainder I get the same vertex at each leg. I need compare to select the vertex I want to get. Index is integer starting from zero so here should be integer. When b is zero we get the first point, not the one I want. b equals one then midpoint, still not what I need. b equals two we will have the end point affected by set position, this is exactly what I want. But I don't need to change its z-coordinate, I need the selected points centered on the spider's body so I have to append the spider's position here. Basically done, I gathered these notes in one frame and named it connect. If you don't understand this part, watch the video about index linked in the description of this video. We will now take the time to look at the Bezier curve. I duplicated all the points of the leg and you observe the change on the spider. Now I'm going to change the spider's legs to the shape of a foot with four toes.
Already done part 2, my spider has legs, but just ugly sticks. Part 3, create curvature for the legs. I still use set position. We remember each leg has only 3 vertices, I used resample curve to increase the number of vertices, making the leg easy to bend. The idea is that the position of the vertices will be equal to the original position plus an extra amount on the z-axis to change the shape of the leg. The initial position is position. The extra amount will depend on its distance to the sphere. So I need geometry proximity to determine the distance between the vertices and the body. And combine XYZ to only affect the Z value. Don't forget to select relative. It has changed, but I need color ramp to control this change. In color ramp, black is 0, white is 1. Two ends will be preserved, so it's black. Adjust until you feel comfortable. Group these notes together and I name them curvature. Part 4, Shape of the Leg. Use curve to mesh then provided for profile curve a curve circle, the legs will have thickness. Now I want to reallocate the thickness on the leg. To do this, I used set curve radius, spline parameters, and color ramp. You see a bunch of extra legs sticking out of the spider's body, reduce the brightness here a bit to fix it. The principle of using color ramp remains the same, black is 0, white is 1. I used the subdivision surface to make the appearance more smooth. However, I didn't like the shape of the legs very much, so I replaced the curved circle with star. The toes seem too long, I'll make it shorter. It looks fine. These nodes are a group, its name will be shape.
Part 5, Make the Spider Move on Perpendicular Grids. The first was to show grid. I use join geometry to combine the spider and grid. Now I create another grid and move it perpendicular to the original grid. I try to connect it to our nodes to see if it works fine. You can see there are two problems, the first is that the legs are bent in the z-axis. And the second is that the toes are still horizontal rather than rotating in the direction of grid. The second problem can be solved quickly by connecting the rotation of the point to the rotation of the instance. The first problem will be solved in the curvature frame by changing from z to x or y at the combined node input. Each grid will use this separately so I have to duplicate these groups of nodes to use each grid separately. I haven't come up with a better way, if you have a better way please let me know by commenting under this video. The direction of curvature of these legs is reversed, you need to multiply by minus 1 to get it in the right direction.